Hi, I'm Chris Leader. I'm the president of Leaders Edge Training, and I want to welcome you to our monthly video tips. Please feel free to send them on to anybody on your contact management system. I know you and your friends are really going to enjoy them. Hi, I'm sitting with, with Jay Gregg, uh, the Director of Marketing for Pillar to Post, both in Canada and the U.S., with over 400 locations to date uh, in, in North America. Uh, Pillar to Post is a premier company in the home inspection industry. Uh, Jay, I got some questions for you. You know, the home inspection is now playing a really relevant role in just in real estate transactions on both sides of the border. In just about every transaction today, the buyer wants to feel assured that they're moving forward on the right property without any deficiencies. But when it comes to the home inspector and the real estate agent working together, um, what should a real estate agent be looking for in developing a relationship with a home inspector? Well, that's a great question, Chris, because it, it's a relationship business that we're in, both the realtor and it's a trust issue as well because they're referring a, a home inspector to their client, so there needs to be uh, some qualifications for sure. So I would ask what the background is of a, of a home inspector, what, uh, what, how do they handle issues like mold, are they, uh, are they uh, using scare tactics or are they non-alarmists? So we train our franchisees to be non-alarmists to inform the client mm -hmm. but not scare the heck out of them uh, you know, during a home inspection. One more question I have for you. I need to get a sense of, from a real estate agent's perspective, I want to have a really good relationship with the, uh, with the home inspector that I choose. I want to I have, have a strong relationship. What should be the three top questions a real estate salesperson should ask of a home inspector to help them qualify, is this the person that I would feel confident referring my clients to? Yeah, that's a great question too. So I have real life experience because I was a home inspector prior to my role as a director of marketing for six years, did over 2,000 home inspections. Wow. So um, to, to gain the trust in, of, of a realtor, and, and really that's what we're trying to do, so gain their confidence. Uh, you know, some of the questions they should ask is, what is your qualifications? What's your background? Uh, are you a member of an association? So that shows some commitment to the, to the home inspection industry. Do you carry errors and emissions insurance is another big one. Okay. Uh, all of our franchisees must carry a million dollars errors and emissions insurance and it covers both the broker and the agent. Okay. Uh, a lot of the independents out there uh, may not do that and therefore you're, you're, you're at risk as a realtor. Um, you're at risk if you don't have somebody that has insurance like that. Ultimately, at the end of the home inspection, the consumer should walk away with a package that sort of outlines the inspection from A to Z. What does that package? What should that package look like? Well, for example, at Pillar to Post, uh, we pride ourselves on the fact that we'll print off the report at the time of inspection, walk the client through it. There's a couple of advantages from a realtor's uh, point of view. One is we're able to walk them through it so if they have any issues in the home, we're still in the home, we can go and talk to it and, and resolve it. We walk them through the home inspection, they walk away with it tucked under their arms. So there's no waiting days for the re uh, report, therefore they can close quicker. And that means something to a realtor. So. Now I have one other question I'd like to ask you. Should the home uh, potential buyer and the real estate salesperson be on site during the home inspection? We prefer it that way, absolutely. That way we can make sure all issues are covered off and, and uh, I, I always preferred to have a client there so I can find out what their issues are. I may assume something that's not even a concern. Maybe they're electricians so they don't care about the electrical issue that I pointed out. So it's very important, I think, to have the client on site. Well, I can't thank you enough, Jay. I think you've given us a real insight into the relationship between the real estate professional and the home inspector, inspector and how important they are. I want to thank you for coming in today. Thank you very much, Chris. Okay.